Welcome to the Mafia Sports Report. I'm your host, Tommy. And guys, we have uh, breaking news, and it is great news um, to hear. Um, DeMar Hamlin has opened his eyes. He is responsive, and he is actually holding uh, hands with his family. Um, this this is unbelievable to wake up to today, <clears throat> and I I, I got to tell you this is this is tells you the power of prayer. Uh, this tells you the power of just family being by Demar Hamlin's side through this, being there, just in, in the hospital next to him, praying with him, you know, praying for him, you know, holding his hand, you know, just. It, it's remarkable. It really is. And, you know, I, 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 I'm lost for words. Um, but it also goes to show you guys the fight DeMar Hamlin had and, and, and it, it, it's, it's, it's touching. It, it really is. This, this is a, this is the story, uh, of, uh, you know, of the year. It's going to be the story of 2023, uh, DeMar Hamlin, um, making it through this and, and, and which many people didn't think was possible or was going to happen. And, you know, shout out to everybody, Bill's mafia, the NFL community, the NFL fan base, everybody that did their part that donated that, you know, prayed, um, even if you're not religious, you know, just having him in your thoughts, you know, and, and tweeting, you know, positive things, it, it, you know, it, it's crazy how things work out. It really is. Um, and, and listen, I, I know it's still early uh, in this process. He's still obviously in the hospital. He's still going to pr probably be there for a little while. But this is unbelievable news, guys. This just happened on Monday. I mean, you guys understand the severity. I, mean, I know you do by now. Um, his heart stopped twice. Once on the field. Once when he got to the hospital. And for this guy, you know, for DeMar Hamlin to pull out of it uh, the way he's doing and to be responsive it is quite remarkable. Uh, I'm going to play a clip from Ian Rappaport. And uh, here we go. It's and I would say overwhelming positivity talking to people, talk to people close to DeMar Hamlin. And there's several things that stand out to me. Uh, first of all, as you mentioned, he opened his eyes last night, uh, which had to be just really an incredible moment, uh, considering that all that he has been through, that all that the family has been through, all the people close to him have been through. Just he, uh, hearing and seeing him open his eyes amazing. Uh, he has been responsive, which is also extremely positive, neurologically intact is how the bills refer to him. And he also has been gripping the hands of those close to him in the hospital, a sign for them that he acknowledges them, recognizes that they are there uh, and are meaningful to him. Put that all together. And it's, it's really hard to imagine, Andrew, coming out with with better news than than this. Uh, the update. So, guys, that, that's from Ian Rappaport. Um, it's all over. Uh, it's not just coming from him. Uh, they also talked with CNN. Um, so this is just unbelievable. Also, I do want to uh, <clears throat> send a shout out to this guy who potentially, um, Matt Perino, by the way, uh, tweeted this out. Uh, so assistant, the uh, at, at one of the athletic trainers for the Buffalo Bills, um, he's one of the assistants. Denny Kellington, he is the one that did uh, the administrated CPR on DeMar Hamlin. Um, and this guy potentially saved, or he did save, DeMar Hamlin's life. And he deserves so much credit. And, you know, I, I don't know what you know, the NFL community will, if they'll honor, uh, Denny, um, for, you know, what he did, um, on the field on Monday night, saving 
Damar Hamlin's life. Um, but this man here, he deserves, he deserves recognition. He deserves, um, everything. Uh, and, and I think Bill's mafia needs to show this man some love, um, for what he did Monday night in saving Damar Hamlin's life. So I will tell you right away. I will tell you now, me personally, thank you, uh, Denny from the bottom of my heart, uh, for what you did Monday night. Um, you know, we, you know, I, I really appreciate everything that you did to save this kid's life. So thank thank you once again. And Bill's Mafia, we obviously all love you for that. So, guys, so that is the breaking news on DeMar Hamlin. Um, like I said, we couldn't have woke up today with any better news than than what we got. And once again. I appreciate everybody who's come on this channel, who's been positive, who has reached out to me as well. I appreciate people in my circle that's reached out to me. That's not Bills fans, you know, they they, they not even football fans, but they understand the situation. They've, you know, they obviously it's worldwide now. It's all over the news. Um, I appreciate them. My the bar I work at, I do security at here in Detroit. Um, he actually put uh, prayers for Demar on the outside of his bar and his big digital screen. Shout out to my bar for doing that. That was, uh, you know, class act. Class act, by the way, for all the NFL teams that did that as well. I know, I know they all, uh, you know, did the their signs for Demar. They all did the blue and red as well, lighting on the outside of their facilities outside of their stadiums. Uh, Buffalo Sabres obviously honored DeMar Hamlin the other night. Um, also to the Bills players who have handled this so good. And, 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 and this is not easy for them, obviously. This is their brother. So, you, you know, a lot of emotion going on in, in, in Buffalo in that locker room. And today was a day that I think Bill's Mafia, I think the players can all, you know, just take a deep breath and, you know, just really honestly, like I said earlier, be grateful that this turned out, you know, this turned out to be, um, it basically turned out to be that DeMar Hamlin, you know, is going to be okay. Like, you know, like I said, guys, it's not, it's not over yet, but you know, I, I think the players now, like I said, I guess, I guess the point I was getting to, I guess the players now can get back to football and understand their brother is going to make it and, you know, fight for DeMar and make this season about DeMar, make this season really just about uh, also about Buffalo, what, whatever, you know, what the city's been through as well. They have a lot to fight for, and this is just another uh, another thing, and it's a big thing. And I, I think this this is going to give a, a, a tremendous boost to this team uh, waking up today knowing that DeMar is going to make it. And DeMar uh, is a fighter just like the Bills are this season and, and will continue to be. You know, like I said earlier, I did a video earlier on what this team's gone through, what the city's gone through, and the team continues to fight on through. The fans continue to show up to the games. The fans continue to have a positive outlook. And here's another here's another thing that happened. And, you know, things are going to turn around, and things are turning around. So it's awesome to hear that this morning. I am so, like I said, guys, I'm kind of lost for words, and that's why I got some stumbling a little bit on my 
uh, on my words. Just I get on here and, and I just shoot from the hip. So, uh, Bills Mafia, you are the best. I love you guys and uh, go Bills.